Hello and welcome to the first of hopefully many um, iOS programming tutorials. Um, this is the start of a series about ba making a basic iOS app and it's the first video that I've ever recorded so hopefully it goes okay. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to make a very basic hello world um, iPhone app, get it running on your Mac without even one line of code. So. Open Xcode and we should create a new Xcode project. And for this app, we'll use a single view application. Let's just drag this down. And then we can just call it tutorial one. And we can just leave all of these settings standard. This is how it should be out of the box, and it's all that we need. So let's save this somewhere tutorial 1-1 create okay so when we first create a project in Xcode there's quite a lot going on um, and it can be a bit scary so in this tutorial I'm not going to explain the stuff we don't need or go into the stuff that we don't need um, I'm just going to show you how to get a basic app up and running as fast as possible um, using basic um, interface components as well as making sure that it's laid out correctly for your device. So at present it's taken us to the project settings which is from the Xcode project file. So if we click off that onto here then click back onto it this is where we are which provides basic project settings and we don't need to edit any of these as of yet so right now we're just going to jump straight to the main storyboard. Now the main storyboard is basically where stuff gets laid out. You can lay your UI components down on there, you can arrange your screens um, and get a good sense of what the app will look like and how the user will interact with the app. So let's start by creating a basic label. Um, you should have this right hand column up. So you've got your components library here where you can search for different UI, um, at, uh, UI components. If you don't have that up, make sure you click the right hand button here. And yeah, it should come up. So in, in this search box, we can just filter it for label and just drag that straight onto the view. We'll just drag that straight into, we'll just drag it slightly above the middle actually. Now you can see we've got a label on the screen. So this big square represents a screen that encompasses all devices so you can see our height and width is any and any so we're basically designing for all devices from one screen using um, the iOS or Xcode auto layout system so what we can do now is we can just edit the name of the label and we can say hello world like that and I think that should be a capital W and we can see that it's changed the name of the label which is awesome. And we can also edit the label another way. We can just double click on the label and we can edit it straight on the view. Um, at the minute, it's not automatically aligned to the center. So we can just go back into the inspector here and click the align middle button. So you can see now that we've aligned our label text in the center of our label. So if we go and run this, and to run um, on the simulator, just come to the top of the screen. You see iOS simulators here. I always choose iPhone 6 because it's the phone that I own and it fits nicely on my screen. Sometimes I think the 6S Plus is a bit is a bit big for working on the screen like this one. I'm on a 15 inch Pro, so it can take up too much space. So let's just select the iPhone 6 and then just click run. You see it's building uh, the tutorial and it succeeded, which is great. Now the simulator should pop up above um, Xcode and we should be able to see our app running. Okay, eventually that, and here we go. So we can see this is the basic, this is the iPhone simulator. Um, if we interact with the hardware, if we, we see we're in a simulator app here, if we press hardware then home, we can interact with the phone um, well, the simulator like it's an actual device. 
bit of an issue though because the label is um, actually just off the screen. Um, if we look at our file, it looks like it's in center, but because we are designing for any device, any height, any width, um, it's not it's not being told to align the label to the center of the view. So let's really just align this to the center view. So you do control click from the label to the view. You can see view in the bottom right. And then you can see we have these options to set something called constraints. And constraints basically tell Xcode how things should be laid out. So we've created a constraint from the label to the view. And now we can bait. Let's just click center horizontally and center vertically, holding shift. So we can select multiple constraints at once. Oh um, man, and what's happened here? So it's, it's, it's all gone orange. So when you see this little box here, it means that's where the label should be, but the label isn't there. So Xcode's saying that your frame is in the wrong place. The frame for the label is in the wrong place. So let's go and fix that. Let's click down here and then let's click update frames. Okay, now. So that's moved it to center and everything's blue. When you see the blue lines, that means all is well, all is good. Xcode has enough information to correctly lay out the uh, interface component across all devices. When you see it orange, that means either that it's like not got enough information, it could be ambiguous or the frame is in the wrong place. Uh, if you see red, it's definitely missing data or something that's definitely wrong for the constraints. But that's enough about auto layout for this tutorial. So let's just try and run this again and hopefully we should see it be aligned to the center of our phone. So another shortcut to building is to press Command R. That's the shortcut to run and build. And there we go. It's aligned into the center of the iPhone simulator, which is good. Um, so in the next tutorials, we'll continue to build upon this app. We'll make it interactive. We'll make it into a proper app. Um, we'll go into more detail about certain features of Xcode and we'll start programming in Swift. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please let me know if you have any comment, feedback, or if there's anything else you'd like to see. Um, thank you. Bye-bye.